Bitcoin is looking incredibly bullish. We've had that trend reversal. It's looking good. It's looking healthy. Volume is coming back into the market and the optimism is coming back into the market. But how can we use Bitcoin as a macro indicator to see what's likely to happen with the lower caps and IDOs and launchpad? Well, that's what we're going to cover in today's video. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jagi. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro, been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008, where I used to only focus on currencies, but now exclusive on crypto. So let's dive straight in. So first, looking at Bitcoin. This is the chart pretty much since 2017, this massive move to the upside. We had this big correction, massive surge up until April 2021, big correction. We've been in this channel for a while, but what I'm anticipating over the coming months, you know, it's going to take six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months. We don't know yet as the data unfolds, we'll get more accurate information. But typically what happens on the last leg is it unfolds into a sequence of five waves. And this is what I'm anticipating. Because down here, 2017, I'm seen as a macro wave one. This 2018, big 85% correction, wave two, wave three, and then wave four. This is a classic ABC, potentially a running ABC correction. There's a particular type of ABC correction, ABC correction where this low doesn't exceed the previous low. But we've had this big move to the upside, which gives us a clue. But what I want to focus on today is really this zone. Because... If you can understand the typical common market psychology, herd mentality of buying and selling behavior, optimism and pessimism, euphoria and depression, fear, uncertainty and doubt, fear of missing out, all these crazy emotions because we as human beings operate 95% unconsciously and hardwired to respond and react. It's almost like you put your hand in the fire and unconsciously you remove it, right? And then you know for future reference not to put your hand in the fire no more. So there's all this psychology baked into the market that's hard to see. But when we use Elliott Wave and Fibonacci ratios combined with momentum indicators, we can see stuff that the world and normal people, normal people cannot see. Because Arthur C. Clarke said it nicely. He said, any advanced science is indistinguishable from magic. And we're using psychology, the social sciences, to really measure psychology. So typically, I've, what I've done here, just so you're, we're on the same page, I'm going to zoom into this section here. Right? We see this section, this, this red box. We're going to zoom in, and this is this red box. right? And what typically unfolds, and I want to just draw this as well, because I want to make sure you get the clarity of thinking, is we've had this initial move up. That wasn't anything. We had this correction, but then we had this nice surge. Now, this surge over here, this movement to the upside is bigger than any previous move in this sequence, any previous move. And that's referred to as an overbalance of price. And that's one of the first clues of a reversal. We're not out of the woodwork yet. We're not, we're not there yet, but it's the first initial clue. And then what typically unfolds is over the next week, over the next four or five days, I'm going to jump into a live chart in a, in a short while to show you why. We will tend to get a bit of a correction. And all types of news will be coming out, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and FUD, and everything else. We have a little surge, and then we'll typically have an A, B, C correction. This is referred to as a micro wave two, an initial wave two. And wave two corrections tend to be quite steep, quite deep, in because the market doesn't know if it has reversed, even when it's some clear signals. So typically, a wave two anticipate 50%, up to 78.6% on the way down, on the way down over here. But what I wanted to focus on, right, with, with this, because this, this is some key thinking, because when you can really just do the work of really understanding these patterns that unfold and what's likely with high probability, and I want to emphasize, is probabilities and never certainty. So even when the patterns look incredibly clear, it just means it's highly probable, not certain. Very important, because when you're doing your risk management, you want to have that mindset. So we're going to now, this, this is the zone. Like, I'm expecting this. And then we're going to have this, this, more than likely, this pullback, this traditional pullback for, you know, maybe to the end of Feb, to the end of Feb, a bit more to the upside, pullback. And then this zone is going to be a massive opportunity because it's the potentially high probability that this is the last opportunity before the market really becomes clear that the optimism is back in, the bulls are back in town, and that money is flowing back into crypto where the large caps are doing well in terms of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the top 10, top 20, top 50 coins. But then that money likely is going to flow. And the, the amount of energy required to move the price in younger projects is very little for large movements. So you can get bigger, bigger movements. So what I wanted to just touch upon here is launch pads, right? Launch pads, right? One of the, the 
founders, the one of the big ones that really started off this trend, you know, updating it from ICOs in 2017, 2018 market into this current bull market was Pokestar. Very, very popular. I like them. I've tested them out. It's more of a lottery system. So that's why I don't talk about them that much. But the percentage of their price, like from their all-time high, their all-time high was $7.51. So Pokestar is at a 75% discount from its all-time high. And recently, it was even at $4, 5 $6, not that long ago, a couple of months ago. Meta VPad, a new launch pad, it's only launched a few projects, but in peak season, I think this is going to do incredibly well, but from its all-time high, and it, and it did do a 1200x on its all-time high from its IDO, a lot of hype around it. It was 48 cents, currently 11 cents, 11 and a half cents, 76% down. Downmaker, another strong launch pad. Uh, I like it. It's, I don't talk about it much because, again, lottery systems and there's a few other things, but it's 75% down. This all-time high price was 88 cents. $8.75. Valus Pad, which is a very popular blockchain called Valus, which is now the proud sponsors of Ferrari. I think there's going to be a lot of activity happening on the, on the Valus chain over the coming weeks, years, months, and years. But it's 82% down from its all time high. Game Zone, which is focused on IGOs, initial game offerings, is 84% down. Now, I don't think these are going to stay down for very long. And it's been tough during this whole period down. This is not IDO season. This is buy your launchpad membership season and wait until IDO season. And then when IDO season occurs, it means that the typical project does a 50 to 100x, 200x, 500x. And when the tokenomics are right and the hype is right and the project is right, we're talking about 500x's, 1,000x's. And when that occurs, naturally, the demand for the launchpad token increases. When the demand increases, that means people are going to buy more of the token. People buy more of the token, the bulls are back in town. It drives the price up. So these prices, I think, are going to hit all-time highs in this season. That's what I want to touch upon. And what I want to emphasize to you here is this part, right? So we've done this part, but peak season, peak IDO season is when the next leg kicks off. And then when Bitcoin is hitting all-time new highs or moving towards all-time new highs, and it's obvious that the bulls are back in town, that's going to be peak IDO season, right? That's what I mean when I say peak IDO season. We're not in that season right now. Now it's the reverse of peak IDO season. Now it's depression, Fear, uncertainty, doubt, people crying, people losing money, people are down on their portfolios, people think it's the, the bear market's in town already, and it's, it's hard, it's tough, but this is the time where it feels most unnatural to want to buy a Launchpad membership, and I'm not saying you should, because it's a, it's a difficult strategy, because you have to take into consideration vesting schedules, you have to take into consideration the movement of the token, the Launchpad token price, then you have to look at individual projects, it takes a bit more time. You have to be used to DeFi, like decentralized finance of staking and everything else. But even on the open market, these young projects will tend to do incredibly well during this phase. And I'm referring to wave three and wave five of Bitcoin's wave when, when you learn it. So what I'm going to recommend you do is take my free Elliott Wave Fibonacci Masterclass. I've built a course, broken everything down. And I just wanted to touch upon one of the lessons, Fibonacci price extension, wave five. And why break down, in a, I think it's a five minute lesson, is it? Yeah, it's around a five minute lesson, but it gets to the point of saying, how do you measure high probability end of wave fives? Because they're repeatable, they're predictable, and you can see them time and time again. And I'm doing something special right now. Right now, my course is normally 997. We're doing a stupid offer. It's ridiculous. It's 97 pounds. It's 90% off. And you'll also get an invite to my private telegram. We've got an amazing private telegram community. We do workshops on Saturdays. We do a few other things that we're doing and putting into play to give more and more value because I believe we are going to see this fifth wave of, of Bitcoin, which is going to drive immense volume into the market from retail and from institutions just waiting to get in. And if that does occur, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. But people often find it difficult to read the market and buy low, sell high. Sometimes buying low is not that difficult in, in today's market. Like right now, it's almost like you can buy anything and you're buying low. But then it's like, how do you know when there's a high probability top being made before a big correction? And that's the wave five part. And that's the lesson that we have. And we break down Elite Wave, Fibonacci, um, Foundation, Intermediate, Advanced, and really goes into depth. For £97, we're getting amazing feedback. So what I want to do today is finish on. I just want to jump into our live Bitcoin chart. Let's go into, here's my Bitcoin chart. Bang. Here we go. The key thing I just wanted to finish on today is... In the top left-hand corner of my charts, by the way, I cover how to use TradingView in my course as well, is what I want to emphasize right now, one of the reasons we're confident that the probability is in our favor for sideways to up 
there's two indicators that I use. Well, there's one indicator, stochastic RSI, but there's two main settings that I use. And I'll, I'll, for, for those that are familiar, this bottom one is a slower stochastic RSI. The setting is 13855, and the top one is 8533. They're, they're Fibonacci ratios. But it tends to help us see where's the momentum, and both are currently pointing up. So we're expecting two, three weeks of sideways to up minimum with Bitcoin before a correction and then before another continuation. And then when we come to the daily chart in the top right, ignore the lines, there's a lot of lines. Let me just get rid of these. Uh, let's see if we can get this, yeah. So what I want to focus on here is just the short-term movement. You know, I like to look at the big swings, the big swings, these big movements, but it's important to note that what we're anticipating, what we showed in the video today, is that we do have a bearish daily reversal. So we're looking at two, three days of sideways to down, and this is like a, a wave four, and it brings up the lines again. And then the next bullish reversal, a wave five, and then another bearish reversal to get that wave two correction. And before we really potentially see this big movement to the upside. And if we do get that, that's gonna be the thing that's gonna really, really drive the market. So I wanna be really, really clear. Let me just do that one more time. I'm going to do it this time with, um, I'm going to do it with the annotation. Bam, bam. Yeah. So we've got one, two, three. Anticipate some type of ABC correction of a four in this kind of zone. And then we'll probably get a last little leg up that will be similar to this one. Often with Bitcoin and cryptos, it can be overextended. You know, and, and these highs are now starting. This, this range is trading into this range. It's taking out this high over here. It will probably take out this high at some point very soon. That gives us more confidence that this low should not get exceeded. It doesn't mean it won't. It doesn't mean it's not possible. It just means it's, it's, it's probable that it won't. But again, I'm really focused on this part of the market. There's going to be some buying opportunity. But once the market really takes off, that's when you know, you know, that's where the opportunity is. So right now, there's a lot of undervalued projects right now. And the markets are driven by fear and greed, speculation, optimism and pessimism. More than the fundamentals of the project. Like when I'm doing technical analysis, when you're doing Elliott Wave and Fibonacci and momentum indicators, to a, a large degree, especially with mature projects, you're ignoring the fundamentals. With your younger projects, if they are pre-launch or they're very, very young, then the fundamentals play a much more important role because an announcement of, you know, main net guide live or something along those lines can make a significant difference. When it's much more mature, it's all baked into the psychology. And that's what I want to get across to you. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Take my free Elliott Wave and Fibonacci Masterclass. It's a real flavor of what the course is. And if you like it, jump in. Oh, jump in. Hey, you see my mic's, mic's going to fall off. Uh, jump in and uh, join my private Telegram group. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, keep working hard. See you soon. Oh, no, wait. <laughs> we got a quote. We got a quote of the day. All right, I know the quote. It's going to be, I know, I know it is. It's Confucius. Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. All right, see you soon.